For much of last night, some of Britain's major routes were made to look like country roads. The snow combined with gale force winds caused blockages that were simply impossible to clear. On the M62, one of the busiest motorways, more than 200 people were forced to spend the freezing night in their cars. Now I've been trying to get home for seven hours. Uh, spent the last couple of those stuck in Rochdale. Although uh, it's nice to see what people do when there's stuff like this going on. Volunteers from local towns worked through the night to bring water, food and blankets to those who were trapped. We're just kind of serving sandwiches, and we've got breads, we've got biscuits, just kind of keeping them going through the night. We've had these volunteers have been working hard for the last few hours. It's really cold out here tonight. By morning, volunteers had established a makeshift rescue centre in the community hall to provide some much needed warmth. But for those still out on the motorway, conditions had barely improved. Some drivers had been awake all night, despite warnings not to travel. Uh, at the moment, we are waiting for 14 hours and still are waiting and we don't know uh, when we can start again because I think in this country, at the moment, everything is upside down. Away from the motorway, smaller roads were no less hazardous. For one driver, this was the result of slippery surfaces combined with 90 mile an hour winds. It has left rural communities isolated. John Patterson has been snowed in for two days. This is the, the worst snow we've had here since we've lived here, which is 21 years. So, but uh, everybody pulls together in the village. By this afternoon, the army had helped to get the motorway traffic moving. But with forecasters warning of more strong winds, police say parts of Britain's highest motorway will remain deserted indefinitely. Ben Chapman, ITV News, Rochdale. Okay. Stranded on a southwestern railway train in Dorset, passengers huddled together for warmth. Some tried to keep their spirits up when the service which left Waterloo just after 5 p.m. broke down, but then the power went completely. We're now on the train at 11.56 and we're now sat in darkness. This is just... We're laughing, but we really want to cry. Tired, cold and fed up, they eventually got as far as Bournemouth station early this morning. It was a nightmare. We had about uh, 10 hours uh, with, in the dark with uh, no eating, no food. Overnight in Gloucestershire, these two men were rescued by a passing snowplough. Storm Emma's high winds and heavy snow created treacherous driving conditions, even defeating one gritter as it battled to clear the roads. And by the morning, on the edge of Dartmoor, abandoned vehicles had completely disappeared under snow drifts up to 10 feet high. Police were trying to check no one was still trapped inside after the Dartmoor rescue team evacuated drivers last night. The snow came in really fast and, and actually it was, the, it was the wind blowing that was causing big drifts and so um, some, some of the cars we were able to help uh, get moving again uh, but some of them needed to be uh, walked out to our uh, emergency four-wheel drive vehicles. At the emergency rest centre in Oakhampton, the local community rallied round to help over a hundred motorists who were trapped. With freezing temperatures forecast to continue into the weekend, travel will be difficult no matter how you choose to get about.